Funball here and welcome to a uh, video on the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In today's um, uh, episode, I'm going to be taking on the first part of a brand new challenge series I'm going to be doing called the, um, where I have a hundred lives to complete every main quest in the game, uh, including the DLC main quests. You know, I'm, I'm not looking forward to, um, the one where you have to, ha uh, use the one-handed oblivion here. <laughs> That's gonna be fun, but basically, um, if you look down here in the corner, over here, it says, uh, main quest completed, completed 19 out of 20, and that's because, of course, you can't really play this game with the sh with Ganon destroyed, so that's gonna be the last one we do. But we are gonna have to beat every single main quest, uh, within a hundred lives and a death count, and basically whenever we die. So let's say that we die up here in Rito Village. Well, you see, I'd come to my location, and I'd stamp it with a skull. And you see right there at the end of the little meter how it says 92 out of 100. Well, Basically, every time that we die, we put down a stamp, and, um, yes, and, uh, when that stamp meter gets down, um, <laughs> gets down to zero, and we can't place down any more stamps, the challenge is over, we have lost it, and, um, yeah, so basically, it's just going to work like this. Uh, so yeah, we have to do it in master mode, and we get the hundred lives to do it. This is gonna be difficult. So we're gonna have to see how this goes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this, but I think that we'll be able to do it. So new game. All right. <laughs> so anytime we die, we place out the skull basically. And yeah, I have a lot I want to get to do. Sorry if the capture footage isn't amazing. Um. I'm, I'm recording using a phone, <laughs> which um, doesn't really work the best <laughs> be, uh, for a game that you need to be playing with two hands. If I'm playing Pokemon, it's okay because I can play that with one hand, but this is a two-handed game 100%, so I'm having to prop it up and yeah, it's not it's not gonna be great. But I've tried to make it as good as I can for you, so I hope you I hope you just get over um get over it and enjoy it. Open your eyes. You'll know we're playing a master mode because the Triforce will be on corner. Right over here. Wake up, Link. Anyway. No, I just get this oh wait, we can. There we go. Didn't know we could skip this cutscene. Hey, it's in my controls. Nice. So I don't have to bore you to death with all these controls. I'll try to skip the cutscenes because chances are you you've played this game or seen enough videos on it where you know the story. Take it. I can't skip this. <laughs> I don't properly know how to skip cutscenes. I just like button mash. <laughs> a lot better than it did a second ago. <laughs> Text resolution went up a lot. Okay, if there was a cut there, um, the, the prop fell. <laughs> if there wasn't a cut, <laughs> behind the scenes stuff. Okay, well, uh, yeah. That was, that was just good. And, uh, there was one more roll I forgot to mention, and that is, uh, no glitches. Zero glitches. So, um, no getting the Master Sword early, which is something I, I know how to do, no, like, l I, I, I'm gonna categorize getting on boxes and launching yourself around the map using stasis as a glitch, because, actually, that's more like an exploit, but I'm not really gonna be doing that. Nothing super, like, glitchy, like, skipping the entrance to shrines. Yep, that's gonna save you time. <laughs> uh, somehow. Speedrunner do it so fast. I mean, I don't think it's hard to press the A button Link. and X button. But... You are the light. Our light. Anyway. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. 
Okay, Zelda, we get it. Now go. Thanks. <laughs> I may be a little bit slow because I'm not. I'm not a speedrunner, guys. Okay. I'm gonna try to get the thing. I'm gonna try to get things done. And I'm gonna try to get them done right. It's so weird, like how slow my energy. <laughs> so it's up because I'm used to having max energy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And this is the area we're about to have to conquer without dying a hundred times. In master mode. Correct. Oh, thanks. Well, the switch this time. <laughs> what do you want to bet sometimes during this? Don't really, but what do you want to guess that sometime during the Great Plateau? I am going to just straight up jump off of a cliff thinking I have the paraglider. I've already tried to glide in the Shrine of Resurrection, so we're not on a we're not off to a good start. <laughs> okay. Any more highly intrusive anywhere? I just tried to glide right there. Yes. It's inevitable. I'm gonna die somehow trying to glide. I feel like there's something that's gonna happen if I push this boulder. Isn't it just rolling off a cliff right here? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, I just, just went down the hill. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have any bombs either to blow up the tree to get the apples. Okay, yeah, this is definitely gonna take some getting used to. I mean, like, even just, like, coming off of, like, another safe fall, it's still kind of difficult. Anyways, yeah, just spam the B button. And sometimes the E button. Yeah, give, give me your tour. I, I'm gonna be getting the, the torch and the axe and all that. Any, any little thing helps. <laughs> Just go ahead and get, get it over with. There you go. That, that could be useful. Uh, I don't really care. I don't really care about what I say because it's not. this isn't a choice-based game or anything. What you say, it, 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 it can, you can feel better about yourself, but it's not going to impact gameplay. First Quark Seed. Bam. <laughs> That's mainly because I do believe there's a sword, yep, right up there that we can use. And using this, we can also skip that first though, Poblin on the hill. Probably not a good, probably not a great thing that I decided to do that, but hey. Okay, that's nice. I'm probably gonna use that to get our first actual weapons. Now then, where'd you go from here? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna swim down here doing the slow way. If we drown, we just lose a heart though. We don't, as long as it's not a game over screen, it doesn't count as a death. Any time that the game over screen shows up, it is a death. There we go, to bullet time. Let's see if I can find the Hylian trousers. Okay. Link. Whoa. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. I'm gonna make, trust me, I'm gonna be moving the camera around quite a bit. And here we go, our first main quest. Yeah, how, how we begin our domination the game by heading to the tower. Oh, well, we did. <laughs> uh, there you go, now we'll survive. Bam, there we go, now we're gonna take his own weapon and finish him off with it. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be dealing with with difficulty this entire playthrough. 
This one, this wasn't even the Highland. Oh, I know it was the Highland Trousers book album. You just couldn't see the chest it blended in. There we go. That's going to defend us a little bit. Cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can make our way over to the tower. There's also a few more book hoblins we're going to have to take out on our way over there. Not you guys. Ooh, we could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna get him. So, Coblins. Number two. Wait a minute. I don't think this is gonna one shot him. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Now, you guys are smart. And, well, first death. You know what? I, I wanted these guys for the food mainly. And I thought they'd have some better weapons than one boko stick and an army of barrels. So, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't play Master Mud much. I, I did not expect that to be in red. <laughs> And now we gotta go on the map, right beside the rip, if I can, our first skull. Well, if, <laughs> if that's not telling of how this challenge is gonna go, I don't know what is. Those guys, though, those guys, those guys have to be dead. Normally, it would be okay to go ahead and go straight to the bombs. Uh, yeah, we can't really do that. As good of an idea as that sounds, go ahead and go straight to the, um, to, uh, get, to get some gear. You know what? We'll, we'll come back for these guys. Wait, wait, time out. We'll take care. We're, we'll come back when we have, uh, some decent stuff and strategy. We got, let's go ahead and get this tower off the ground and your fingers crossed they'll just happen to stay here if not we'll figure something out but yeah because we have to do all the main quests um we're gonna have to be playing the game basically as intended anyway well, we have successfully gotten one main quest down. That is 5% of our main quest to go. Definitely not 5% of the game. 100% <laughs> not 5% of the game. <laughs> Lots of percent. Wait, where's that camp? That's the camp I want to go to. <laughs> the only orange will call this the game where you cut things. Genius. <laughs> that genius just like... I mean, master mode isn't is supposed isn't really supposed to be something that they spent like a month coding in. Actually, you know what they probably did. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I wasn't around when I, I wasn't around in the Breath of the Wild community when it came out. So here we go. Okay, you know, I'm I'm t I'm taking in the world and I'm remembering some things. From my first glance at uh, Master Mode. Remembering some things. Let's see, I'm gonna go take this time to scout out the area. Anyway. <laughs> Floating camps, snipers. You know, th those are just octo balloons that never pop. 
I bet if we shoot him with an arrow, they'll pop anything like weird on the Great Plateau. Probably. <laughs> you know, I don't really want to know what a Lionel's going to be like. I oh, the more I think about that, the scarier it's going to be. The Lionel's going to have like a million hit points worth of health. Wait, 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 where'd the Bokoblins go? <gasps> okay, some of them are still there. Come on now. See, I, th I think the uh, book goblin with the decent short sword and shield is um is gone. So yeah, we're gonna have to solve this by other means. Well, you know, <laughs> I've never been so nervous about <laughs> having to do this because. Yeah, I don't really do many ch gaming challenges, so, uh, yeah. You know, while, while you're taking your time walking, I'm just gonna go and take care of some unfinished business. Alright, alright guys. Shoot each other, shoot each other, shoot each other! Yeet! Whoa! Come on, get some filter brain. <laughs> Charge. Oh, great, we're low. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, really? These guys take so much knockback from this. Bam, bam, bam! There we go. That that's a that's a true Zelda move. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, come on. You know, one v one now. One v one now. I do notice we're slowly driving them closer and closer to the other camp, so we're just gonna start driving this way. Not towards your buddy! Oh my goodness. He's intentionally taking that back toward everything else that wants to kill us. I hope Gombat did not take this long later down the line. Once we actually get off the Great Plateau, we're gonna enter the hardest section of the game, then things are gonna get easier. Though, let's be honest, the Great Plateau is now probably the hardest section of the game. Because normally you're not gonna- <gasps> Yes! Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay, T the tables have turned. You're dead. You are officially dead. The moment I got myself on a bow, you did die. <laughs> yeah! All right, I say to end off the episode, we go and uh, get um, take care of business over at the, Mag at the Magnesis Shrine. Yes, though. Successful battle! Save. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk to him. I think they'll activate Isolated Plateau. Or it may be afterwards. Anyway, let's just go ahead and talk to him, because... You know... I don't really know if I have to or not, so I will go ahead and do it. Maybe sometime during the series I'll get to go ahead and block some guardians. Okay, is that going to begin Isolated Plateau? No, he has to talk to us again to begin Isolated Plateau. So this will probably take us about three minutes. Okay, gar I guarantee you this guardian is going to come awake the moment I step in next to it. Good, okay, we got, we got the Ancient Spring. Maybe this guy. Oh, okay, good. 
So I don't have a shield right now, and that's a real worry. So then, almost over here. Uh, normally I would go and take out that camp of monsters, but one, I don't have a shield, and two, yeah, I don't think we'd be in a great situation. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and experiment with this. So wait, what happens to you? No, you just, you just can't float. Okay. I'm, I'm not really feeling confident enough in my arch, in my archer abilities right now. Don't tell me he's shooting a bomb arrow. Draw that bow again. Okay, okay, he gave up. <laughs> we are safe for now. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this uh, situated. I'll tell you that red is something else. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm here's the deal. I just know I've got to go into um, when I come back to the Great Plateau for the um, like the one-hit Obliviator trial in the first part of the uh, Champions Ballad. I've got to make sure I have at least 50 lives I can run through because I'm gonna die a lot. That's not an easy, that's not an easy ch uh, trial, and it's literally the only thing that's hard about it, in my opinion, is yeah, okay, the um, the puzzles and trines and things after that are definitely hard, but leading up to it. It's just <laughs> taking out the monster camps with the archers and then the people who have long and then the uh, monsters that have longer ranged weapons than you do. It's a nightmare. That entire section. He dies in water. Huh. Well, I was trying to get him in water the whole time. <laughs> Just took me a while. So, uh, yep, we officially don't have a weapon. So, I don't, and I don't remember what's in the chest, but whatever in it, probably gonna be the most useful thing ever. So, then let's just go ahead and grab that. Okay, I don't know what it is. Please be a weapon. A bow. <laughs> Great. It's not like we can go to the, run over the shop with and arrows. That that's good, but it's really bad because I really needed a, a um, melee weapon. Okay. Well, well, that completes. We have um, <laughs> died one time. So if so, if we die once an episode. Then we have 100 episodes to get this done. And I think I could manage that. Maybe. <laughs> if we only died once an episode. But let's be honest. That's not going to be the case. We're going to die several times in some episodes. And maybe we'll go a few episodes later when we don't die. We'll see about that one. We will see. I, I, oh. I, doubt, that, I doubt that's going to happen. But there's a chance it could. Anyways, yeah, let's um, let's talk to him, and then I think um, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Because that's just about because that's just about all the time um that I'm gonna have for this one. I feel like this is one of the games to where like there's not gonna be many situations where I'm cutting ahead. Maybe if I'm just um like running over to somewhere else um. Yeah, maybe, but in general, I feel like uh, this is going to be relatively uncut, but if something interesting happens, of course I'm going to come right back into it. And there we go, so the isolated plateau is started, so we've got our big quest on the way, and I feel like we've made a pretty decent start. So yeah, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this episode. So, Goodbye.